also this evening, a new Erie County budget could have a big impact on people who are trying to make ends meet. Yeah, we're talking about that gas tax holiday that has been in place for more than a year. That will soon be over. Last year, county lawmakers approving suspending the Erie County gas tax. It was set at 4.75% for anything above $2 per gallon. Right now, AAA says the average gas price in Western New York is 361. Our Michael Schwartz taking a closer look tonight at what this will mean at the gas pumps. Proper motion to approve the budget as amended. The Erie County Legislature approved the 2024 budget with a unanimous vote on Thursday. I think uh, this was the first time in a long time that you've seen um, a lot of bipartisan work together. So there was agreement on both sides. We worked well. We worked with the administration. It's also the first budget since 2001 that includes a cut to property taxes. Legislators anticipate that the $1 million property tax levy cut will save the county more than $80 million over the next decade. However, you will be paying a little bit more at Erie County gas pumps. Democrat Jean Vinyl joined her Republican colleagues to continue the gas tax relief. However, it was ruled down by the majority in a six to five vote. I'm disappointed. Um, looking, I, I think it's unnecessary. In March, the county unanimously extended the gas tax relief, capping sales tax on the first $2 per gallon. That will go away starting March 1st. The most strongly debated topic involved the six new jobs to form a community engagement team within the Erie County Sheriff's Office. I'm disappointed that the community engagement team was approved when no one really knows what that is or what that team would do. Colleen of Buffalo agreed with Democrats to cut the positions. Chairwoman April Baskin took to the floor to speak out against it. We see your effort, Mr. Sheriff, but we think that you need to go back to the drawing board and come up with a proper the county sheriff is continuously changing things and it's always for the better. Michael Schwartz, 7 News Buffalo.